guys. Today I'm going to do a winter update on a couple of Nepenthes I have. Uh, I bought these two Nepenthes as little seedlings. Um, each pitcher was about one centimeter in size when I got them. That was a couple years ago. They were in probably two inch pots at the time. Now they're in six inch pots. This is a Nepenthes Sanguiana. Sanguiana. And I just wanted to show you a couple of cool pictures on it. It's, it is suffering from the winter blues and a lack of light, but we have a couple pictures on it here. There's a nice one here. If you can see that. It's about a four inch picture. Here's one down here that's just starting to fade. That one was a little bit bigger. Nice little picture on that guy there. What I'm going to do is do this winter update and then I'm going to do a summer update and I'll show you the difference of how they look in the summertime. The pictures are triple or three or four times this size and the leaves are usually a bright red. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. There's a little bit of red on that leaf. That's because they're growing under lights and the light just happens to be coming from this direction. So that's why everything is tilted that way. I'm just going to hang this guy back up here. And this is another little one that I bought. It is an Apenthes ventricosa. Again, it's kind of suffering from the winter blues as well. It's got a few decaying pictures on it now. That one there is decaying. It has um, one decent sized picture here. Not bad, at least for the winter time. One thing I did notice that is kind of cool is right in here it has got a new little sprout coming out of it. See right in there? So that's nice. At least there's a new growth point for me. Now I think what I'm going to do for you, since it's here and I'm looking around for my scissors, is I'm just going to trim off a few of the old pictures and I'll show you how that is done. Hold on one second. Alright, while I'm looking for the scissors, I might as well go through a little bit of care for these guys. Uh, they are highland species of Nepenthe, which means they are going to like warm to um, hot days daytime temperatures up to about 85 degrees but they want a significant drop in temperature at night um, right now it's dropping down into the low 50s in the greenhouse in the summertime it drops into the high 50s at night the drop in temperature is definitely going to be key to their success these guys do appreciate higher humidity the humidity helps them pitcher a little bit easier um, in lower humidity, what you'll find is these little tips here, like this one, which is going to be a pitcher. They actually um, will just dry up, desiccate. So we want to make sure that the humidity stays up so that these guys don't have a chance to desiccate out. I find that um, in the greenhouse here, my pitcher rate on these two is 100%. None of them ever don't form a pitcher for me, which is kind of nice. Um, that's why... On some of these, there are actually so many pictures. It just lines right up. I always try to sit them in there. These ones especially, they like to be sitting in the moss, so they form better when they when they actually touch something. Um, as for light, these guys do like quite bright light. They're not going to want to be just um, in a dark corner. I make sure they are under lights for this time of year. And then in the summertime, they do get direct sunlight for most of the day through the greenhouse. Um, some shade cloth goes on there on the really hot days in the middle of summertime. But I also find when they're actively growing, these guys will grow a new pitcher probably every week or so. Anyway, 
let me find my scissors. Alright, I'm back and I have a pair of scissors with me. So, the way you want to trim any dead pictures is basically leave them on as long as you can stomach them being on there. They are still helping the plant because they are full of liquid down there. Um, What I like to do is just take the pitcher and trim off the dead part and leave this piece here because it is still photosynthesizing and it is still um, collecting some nutrients in the cup there. I'm using a new tripod today. I don't know whether I like it or not. It does free up my hands. You guys have to let me know what you think. It's not the best quality tripod. So this one again, I'm just going to cut the brown off there and I'll go around and cut the brown off that one as well one more brown one here this one isn't too bad just lost the top of it but that makes them look a little bit cleaner so again that is a Nepenthes Ventricosa. And this one here, I'm just bringing it back down off the shelf, is a Nepenthes sanguiana. Got beautiful red spots in the inside. Again, very small picture, but I look forward now to doing a summer update so you can see the difference between the two. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little update. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.